Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be able to sit with you now and be able to share this message with you that came through to me during one of my meditations about two nights ago. I am in my backyard, so if you hear any noises in the background or if you see some chickens flying around back there, it's because I had chickens and I'm out here taking care of my babies. When I received this message, I knew that I would need to take some time with it. Um, I don't always go to my ritual space or I don't always go into my meditation asking the divine for anything. In fact, pretty often, more often than not, I sit with spirit just because I love feeling the presence, the energy of the divine in my life. And I don't ask for anything other than just to feel that vibe, just to feel supported, just to feel loved and to, you know, just to connect. And that's something that I'm so proud of and that I'm most grateful for in my life is my relationship, my the, the depth of my connection with the divine. Um, there are times when I do want things or I need things or I channel messages for you guys, you know, a few times a week or once a week depending on what my energy is looking like and what my life is looking like. But most often in my personal life, I just throughout the day I just sit and reconnect um, and don't ask for anything at all. Now this is one of those moments where me not asking for anything gave me everything and I was allowed and encouraged to share this message with you guys because I truly feel in my spirit that this message was not just for me it was for someone else and that was one of the reasons too why I feel like it took I needed to take some additional time to sit with it um, and understand it and then I didn't jump onto the internet or on social media and share it with you guys. I wanted to unpack it, I wanted to process it. Emphasis on the word unpack. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. So pretty much what I saw just as I lifted myself up from my meditation and what I heard was the word pupa, right? And I was just like, damn, that's, that's really specific, that's really random. And my first thought was, damn, it's such a weird word. <laughs> like that was genuinely my first thought. And my second thought was I was reminded and I gave, I was given clarity that spirit was talking specifically about um, the stages or the cycle of the butterfly. And spirit knows this about me. I don't like cliches. I don't like to be cheesy. Um, spirit also knows that I'm very skeptical. And as intuitive as I am, I need logical evidence. I need reasoning. I use reasoning all the time in order to confirm and reaffirm my belief in a message and what I am observing in my world. And as crazy as it is that I'm doing the work that I do and I'm as spiritual as I am, everything that I believe in is things that I've is tried, true, and tested. Things that I've pushed back. Once I've heard it, once I felt it, I said, okay, you gotta prove it to me, right? I don't believe just anything. I don't just accept anything as my um, reality or even, you know, consider it um, unless I am called to consider it. And when I do consider it, I over consider it by doing my research. So yeah, so when I, when I heard and I felt this message, I was like, wow, that's, that's so, that's such a specific word. But at this point in my life and in my journey, I know when spirit's speaking, I know when it's the, the divine's voice. I just wasn't expecting it during this time because I wasn't asking for anything. So um, I was a little, not skeptical, but kind of like, all right, God, you know, you're gonna, or the divine, you're gonna speak to me using butterfly metaphors, I'll take it, obviously. I mean, if spirit speaks, I'm, I'm here for it. It's always a good message, right? So I sat with it a little longer and I received such beautiful clarity and time timetables, um, which is so specific and so unique of when something, like this, the cycle that you're in in your life or the cycle for this one blessing, this thing that is lying dormant, um, how long it will take for it to come to fruition and what needs to happen in this stage, um, if this message is for you. So when I saw the word pupa, I saw this little grub worm, this little grub worm, and I saw it in this protective, clearly this protective cocoon, and 
the amount of transformation clearly that happens during the pupa stage and for those of you guys that don't know there's a larva stage that's when um you or this butterfly it's technically a caterpillar at that time like it's this little like wormy thing and it's just kind of living its life it's eating it's consuming it's doing all these things you know that it feels called to do and then at a certain season at a certain time cycle um a certain moment in its life it feels instinctively called in order to create a cocoon in order to hibernate in order to protect itself while it undergoes a massive internal and then external transformation and once that cycle has been completed then it e emerges into the world as a beautiful beautiful butterfly and spirit was really talking to me about timing big time about timing and the the timing well I want to talk to you guys a second about timing I want to talk to you about what's happening right now in your life for those of you guys who are meant to receive this message now if you are in this cycle in your life it is going to be tremendously triggering in a lot of ways why because you are undergoing a massive massive amount of transformation this is something that is going to be felt in all areas of your life. It's not just one word, it's not just one area of your life, it's going to be all areas of your life. And the word that Spirit is speaking to me right now is the word performative. It's not something that you can outperform out or outwit. It's something that is very authentic. It's something that is unavoidable and undeniable and so powerfully felt within you that even if you wanted to give a good face to the world, even if you wanted to tell people, hey, I'm okay, it's so obvious that you are undergoing a massive transformation because you are, it's pouring, it's like coming out of your pores. Spirit is saying clearly to allow yourself to be vulnerable in this, right? But at the same time, you have to understand that boundaries and protection are everything. This is when you are being called to speak to spirit, when you're being called to speak to the divine and ask, ask for additional protection while you're undergoing this massive transformation. Why? Because you alone cannot protect yourself from what is happening around you, especially right now at this time, timing of events in this world, which I've received a lot of other visions when it comes to that. Some things that seem scary, but they're actually really absolutely amazing. Um, but we'll talk about that but we are definitely in a massive um breakdown in our society in our world and this is something that i've predicted i've had visions about five years before they five or six years before they started manifesting themselves but back to and i'll make another video about that but back to the vision that it is that i was seeing um for us so you have to ask for, our spirit is guiding you, the divine is guiding you to ask for heightened protection during this state in your life. Um, the reason why is because your discernment is strong, your intuition is strong, but while you are lying dormant, while you are lying quiet, while you are processing and releasing and letting go and essentially turning into goo, you are melting, like who you are is totally being melted away. And that is such a vulnerable space to be in. Um, Spirit is clearly saying that it, there's not that there's anything wrong with you. It's just the fact that who you once were and the journey that you took up until this point is not going to repeat itself. Um, because it's not going to repeat itself, so much of you has to transform and be ready um, for what you are need to become, what you are to become. And while you are vulnerable, while you are being... While you are vulnerable, while you are being melted away, you want to call in, especially in this next stage, in this next stage in this, next, in this cycle in your life, you are going to want to have a deeper um, connection to spirit. You're going to want to have a deeper and more intimate relationship with spirit because so much of what is unpacking and happening in your life is in order to create divine alignment this is because there are going to be um, purposes that need to be fulfilled there's going to be visions that need to be fulfilled but more than that there are blessings and things that need to come into your life I'm really clearly being called to say that not everybody and not everything is going to come with you you're going to have to leave your comfort zones you're going to have to abandon your home the, the home is being abandoned or family or certain tribe certain like 
connections and comfortabilities are things that once you leave them, it's like you can't return back to them. Even if you return back to them um, through visits or whatever, it's going to be very short lived because it no longer is a vibrational match to your spirit. Your spirit almost rejects it. Don't have fear in this. Don't have fear in this because it's actually good that you're separated and also know that you're coming into alignment with your soul family or you are creating your family. You're creating a new bond. And with that bond, it serves you on so many on so on such a deeper level that your your friends and your family before or your old original comfort zones can no longer serve you as much as you if you could, I'm hearing, if you could see where it is that you are headed and just have the knowledge that where you're at right now, you would be so terrified of where it is that you're going that you wouldn't take that first step because all you know is this. And this is again why Spirit says, please um, invite us in every single day as much as you can. Prioritize your spiritual relationships. Prioritize your relationship with God. Prioritize, prioritize your relationship with the divine and with your ancestors and with your guides because they're the ones that are going to see you through this. They're the only ones that can see you through it. They're going to speak into your higher self every single day in a way that not only encourages the transform transformation, encourages the shift, but it speaks into your spirit in a way that aligns you and empowers you so that you can continue to take these steps forward because logically if you stayed in your own mindset if you stayed in your own state of being you would be terrified by where it is that you're going but believe me and trust this is the biggest obstacle that you're going to feel right now is the ability to have trust and to have peace um and contentment and joy and excitement for where and enthusiasm and happiness for where you're going because some of you guys are going to be so some of you guys are going to be so caught on what you had to say goodbye to and what you had to let go of because everything in your in your state of being right now your current state of being wants to take it with you as you move forward into the future and the, the simple truth is that you can't um there are going to be certain people and there are going to be certain things that you have to let go of as i say that i feel a huge welling of emotion um spirit says yes take your time to mourn these things take these take your time to mourn these things it's natural for you to want to mourn these things I, we're not going to lie to you. Spirit is saying so clearly to me, we are not going to lie to you. We're not going to speak to you things that are not true. Okay? Just, just, just to comfort you, just to make you feel comfortable. That's a, that's a problem. It's a problem to stay in the comfort space. It's a, it's a problem to stay in that comfort zone. We are moving you actively. We're moving you outside of your comfort zone. We're moving you outside of your comfort space. We're not going to lie to you. That's how we're going to develop trust. That's how we're going to continue to develop trust with you is because we're always going to speak the truth to you. We're always going to speak to you and tell you with, clear, with clarity and clearness and speak with your discernment and with your intuition. That's how you will know. That's how you will develop truth because when and, and, and faith... Um, and trust, the biggest thing is trust. Spirit wants, will always, always tell you the truth. It will not paint a picture that is not real because over time it, that bubble will continue to get popped and spirit wants, the divine wants, the universe wants you to trust it wholeheartedly with your heart. Sometimes those truths are things that are really exciting and uplifting and then sometimes those truths are things that are gonna be hard for you to, um, hard for you to reconcile with. They're gonna be hard for you to accept. But you still, but your tr your trust in the divine, and your trust in your path, and your trust in your intuition, and how spirit speaks to you, and how clearly you hear it, is going to um, give you like faith is the word. It's going to give you all of the faith that you're going to need in order to carry forward, and to not doubt yourself, and to not stay too much. Even if you have feelings of um, sadness, um, disappointment, discontent. Depletion. Some of you guys are going to feel depleted, but at the same time, your faith and your knowingness that you're doing the right thing is going to trump that. So you are given in this catalyst, this um, cr like um, chrysalis stage when you're in this cocoon, um, you are given this space to allow yourself to me melt down completely into goo and to allow yourself to release and to mourn um, this stage. Spirit is saying this is the truth. Um, Spirit is saying, listen, spiritually right now, there are going to be a lot of people who are lying to you. They're making false promises. They are, it's like tarot and, or not even just tarot. It's like this fly that's bothering me right now. It's going to be things that people want you to hear. Um, it's like painted positivity. But I'm also seeing this like, like spirit or this angel just kind of pushing it, pushing it away. And then you see the reality and then you're just defeated and frustrated. 
what happens is that when you stay in a space, space of painted positivity or being told things that is that you want to hear that are just temporary comfort, you are ultimately creating long-term disadvantage for yourself because you are feeding yourself, I don't want to say poison, but it's artificial. You are spiritually feeding yourself artificial things. When spirit, I heard the word appointed. There are certain things that need to be appointed in your life. There are certain things that need to, you need to come to reckon with. Like you need to um, receive it, understand it, acknowledge it, and be transformed because of it. This is again why I'm being called to go back into the cocoon. This is why you have to go into this cocoon stage because you're going to have to isolate yourself protect yourself and this is why in this cocoon stage my loves and I'll give you timing I promise um, this is why this is why in this cocoon cocoon stage it's so important not only are you undergoing massive transformation in the cocoon stage but you are being protected and shielded from the outside noises of the world from outside messages Spirit wants you so badly to confirm and to de develop and deepen, especially now, you guys, there's no turning back. This is something that I said five years ago, where the globe and the, where humanity and where things are headed right now, you have no choice but to do this. You have no choice but to do this. If you're listening to this message, it doesn't matter if you're 68 years old or if you're nine. This is the time for you to hear it right now. If you feel called to share this message with someone, or you have a vision of someone, it's because they need to hear it right now. It's not, it's not too late. It's not too early to begin this. If you're hearing it right now, now's the time to begin it. This cocoon stage means that these old things that you are gripping onto, these things that you're using in order to encourage yourself you have to have discernment with them too it seems like it's positive but it might it it's a false it's like a false voice it's what someone is saying or someone's doing with their own intention for views for popularity for whatever the case is it comes from a good place but it's not a good place your discernment <clears throat> and your relationship with God and I've been saying this since the jump I teach tarot I teach esoteric symbolism I, I teach astrology I teach how to develop your intuition because that's the way that spirit has always spoken to me and everybody has different paths to God everybody has different paths if you're a Christian if you're a Muslim if you're a Hindu it doesn't matter each one of those paths are very different and distinct they're yours and they're, but they're taking you to God or they're taking you to the divine this is how spirit speaks to me or witchcraft I love that all of it all of it. I don't have hate in my heart for anything. Um, I myself cannot be defined by anything, you know, but that's another topic. When it comes to the cocoon stage, my loves, not only is this going to be a space for your personal transformation as you're turning into mush, but this is going to protect you from people, places, things, circumstances that you don't need to be a part of anymore because you're too vulnerable right now and that's okay. At the same time, you need to protect what it is that you're hearing. Develop the relationship. Develop your connection to hearing spirit. That Some of you guys, it's going to be written. Um, if you are someone who is Mercury ruled, I mean, check your planets. I, I believe in astrology. Um, and I believe in the elements, I believe in energy and how energy shows up and how the energy that we're born into shows how we best receive things and how we best move. When you understand the energy, when you understand the planets, you can work with this energy and, and it doesn't work against you. I say that all the time. I speak that to my sacred circle tarot school, esoteric, that's exactly what it was that I was saying before is that um, regardless of your path, regardless of your truth, regardless of what you believe in, it, it's going to resonate. And I always say that, yes, I will come through and I'll share a message, but you need to sit with it for yourself and have a conversation with the divine and have a conversation with your higher self or whatever you want to call it and make sure that it is true for you. And the way to do, do that is to deepen your connection by and your discernment and your intuition by the cocoon stage, the pupa stage that you're in right now. This means that you're not, you, you have to be very mindful and careful about who and what it is that you're trusting because these people need to be saying that even like people that you think that you can trust, like pastors or intuitive guides, or even myself, 
It could be anybody, it could be parents, it could be anything. Go into the cocoon stage and find the answers for yourself. Be still. Now, the one thing that I'm hearing, the one thing that I'm feeling is timing. Spirit, for the first time ever, gives me timing. <laughs> That's one thing that Spirit says, don't give them timing ever, Jess, because they are going to make that like paramount. They're, they're gonna make that, they're gonna trump that over everything and they're just gonna be like tick tock, tick tock, you know. Um, the, time is, the time will pass, but the work won't be done. Um, and I think that that's why Spirit protects us from the knowledge of timing because what is time number one and what, you have to do the work. If you're not gonna do the work, then the time will pass and nothing will come to fruition. Now, when it comes to timing, the number that came through was the number nine. I felt this so strongly in my spirit. For some of you guys, and everybody's gonna be different. It's, it's nine months, it's not nine years. It's nine months. Um, wait, for some of you guys, when it comes to chronic, chronic, health, chronic health, and I heard disorders, nine years. Oh, this makes me so emotional. For some of you guys, I can't talk. I just feel it so strongly in my spirit right now. Like, for some of you guys, um, it's the it's the chronic. It's chronic. It's chronic. I don't understand because I've never been there. But I can feel it. Like, for some of you guys, it's chronic illness, chronic disorders, things that you've been dealing with. It feels like forever. And I just feel and I speak over, to, over your life and I just, I hear spirit saying this. For things that are like disordered, it's going to take nine years. Some of you guys... I heard the word retract, you have to go back nine years from the time that you started focusing on your healing and nine years from then there's gonna be a complete emergence of life and health and vitality. It takes nine years for that to be purged out of your body on a cellular level. Speak, continue to speak life and don't give up when it comes to chronic health conditions and chronic, chronic disorders, specifically disorders. This goes deeper than physical ailments. It goes deeper into depression. It goes deeper into anxiety. It goes deeper into um, things that are unstabilized. And that's going to be the biggest miracle for some of you guys because you're asking for balance in your body. You understand that health is wealth and health is everything. And no matter what medicines that you've taken or no, no matter how many um, things that you've tried, you know, doctors or whatever the case is, or it's disorders of the life too. Um, I just heard spirits say, have faith and be encouraged. Um, because the reason why is because um, it's already been done. <laughs> like it's already been done. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my knees are here <laughs> and my chicken wire. Sometimes I just zone out. I can't look up at the sky right now because it's too bright, so I'm looking down. Um, <laughs> I've got big eyes, so it just they just take and absorb all the light. <laughs> That's why I'm always wearing sunglasses. Um, <clears throat> so for those that have uh, chronic, chronic health conditions, um, Yeah, nine years. Um, everything else, it's nine months. <laughs> I'm hearing preparation, preparation and the wait. This is so exciting. Spirit says, what do you need to do? What do you need to do in order to prepare for what you are about to receive? Um, 
not even what you're about to receive, but what it is that you are actively receiving right now and what is actually actively happening. What needs to transform externally, but also internally in your life right now in order for you to prep for the very thing that it is that you've been thinking about. Some of you guys, it's nine months. Others, it's nine weeks. This has a lot to do with career, purpose, money, and big time hyper focus on relationships. Big time focus on relationships, specifically marriage. Some of you guys have literally exited out of relationships and partnerships that you thought were gonna be forever. Um, I'm getting a big emphasis on the word divorce. Even if you've never been married before, um, but it's definitely specific for those that are that have experienced divorce or coming going through a divorce right now. Um, the time the timer starts now, by the way. From the moment that you are divorcing or the moment that you spoke the divorce, the timer started on your cycle. Trust me, trust me. Even though some of you guys were like, Jess, I didn't know, I wasn't prepared, I'm not even thinking about my, my next relationship. You would be so surprised how spirit moves. It's not gonna take nine years. Nine years was for chronic ailments and specifically the word disorders. It's nine months, nine weeks for those that are in divorce. And some of you guys are saying to yourself, well, I'm not ready for another relationship. I'm not ready for another marriage. But once you said the word divorce, you were already connected with your next partner or you were already connected with the next partnership of what it is that you've already actively harmonized when you knew in your spirit that you could go no longer in this relationship. You cut the tie. It wasn't the paperwork. It wasn't the law, the law paperwork. It wasn't you going to a lawyer or whatever it is that people have to do in order to confirm divorce. It was the moment that you spoke it out and said, we're getting a divorce. That's when the timer started happening for the next thing that you've already connected with, which is far better the other thing too is that I'm seeing that this bleeds into every aspect of your life. If you are separating from someone, there's a reconciliation. Not that you guys are coming back together, but there's a, a heightened spiritual alignment and understanding of that love that comes through and a truth that is rested in both of those part part partner spirits where they say, I truly want the best for you. I truly want the best for you. I want you to be good. I want you to be well. There's gonna be obstacles and blips and little bumps in the road moving forward because the ego sometimes has a, has a stage to emerge. But be, I know this sounds really tough, but it's like almost be the bigger person in this. Especially feminine energy. Or if you're, if you're a masculine, you have to tap more into your feminine. Because there's an emphasis on the feminine energy. It's an emphasis on being soft. It's not your job to protect. It's not your job to, you know, defend or to fight. The fight is in not fighting. Big time. Um, so nine, nine months, nine weeks, I just see. And the other thing too is that spirit doesn't want people to be alone. Um, and the way that we're going in this world, trust me when I say this, the way that the world is going right now, it's better to have partnership than it is to be solo dolo. Um, for some of you guys that say, I never wanted a relationship or I don't want a relationship because you're Aquarius ruled or Sagittarius or whatever the case is, um, you are envisioning, forgive me, this is not me, because if I was your friend, I always say this to my clients, I always say this to whoever I'm reading with, there's Jess, there's Jess, the, there's Jess as your friend who would say something completely opposite and then there's Jess the spiritual, the spiritual reader who just is channeling an intuitive. This is just the intuitive, not just the friend because I would personally tell you something different. Um, the thing that it is that I'm saying is that your mind, for those of you guys that are like, I don't want a relationship, right? It's almost as if your mind is wired. Don't drag me with this one, you guys. I can just imagine. You guys, your mind is wired to believe certain things about relationships that it's going to require a lot of compromise. The fact of the matter is, is that spirit is saying you don't have to compromise on anything actually. You would have a relationship, a partnership that honors who you are and your authentic truth and your what your needs are. I keep looking at the clock and I get number nine. Number nine, literally. Every time I've looked at the clock, it's been nine. As soon as I open up my eyes, it's nine. That's just like twice confirmation. Anyways, um, Spirit is saying that um, 
yeah, those these relationships that you're resistant to, it's not the relationship itself that you're resistant to, it's the idea of what the relationship would look like and what it has to be. And the thing is, is like that's why you're going into the cocoon, that's why you're in the pupa stage right now, because this old way of thinking, doing, being, and this old, the life that is around you, the life that served you up until this point is now being melted down. Um, one thing that I'm being called to say right now is there's no coincidence, of course not. I teach the Sacred Circle Tarot School, which we dive really, really deep into esoteric symbolism. You can check the links down below if you want to join that. Um, it's also really, really powerful um, messages that we talk about every single week. Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we dive not only into the depth of the tarot and esoteric symbolism, spirituality studies, but we channel messages. Um, but it's no coincidence that the number nine is connected to the Hermit card. Um, within the major arcana it's no coincidence that you time number times number nine by two you get into the number 18 and then you're working with the subconscious you're working with the moon card why is this well because you are unpacking the journey you are unpacking and you're processing you're figuring out who you are <clears throat> to a point of just distinction you're figuring out with precision detailed precision virgo also rules the hermit card right um you're 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 figuring out with precision and detailed detailed precision um exactly what this is where this goes where this belongs and what needs to be let go of what needs to be released and where it would be constructively placed number nine to me has always been the number of unpacking it's a quiet stage. It's a quiet space to be in within your life because you have to concentrate. You have to, you have to be able to hear. You have to understand. That's when spirit comes through and speaks clear as day, loud, loud. The moon card is about the subconscious. It's about our internal quiet fears that plague us. The things that it is that we can't see. The things that it is that we, when we do see it or when we do feel it, we have a certain understanding of it, but is it so? Is it true? And those are aspects within yourself, the shadow aspects within the self that are being healed, that are being observed right now. And it's very important that you're protected within this. Now, as I'm saying this, you guys, this could feel very lonely and isolating. However, it's not. Number one, because you're spending time with the divine, you're spending time with your angels, and you're gonna be so inspired by this, and you're gonna need the time to focus. You're gonna need the time to journal. You're gonna need the time to process it. You're not gonna want distractions. If you're attracted to distractions during this time, it's because you're, you either need to take a break from this energy work, or there's something that it is that you don't want yourself to unpack. You don't want yourself to see it, but do it regardless. When it comes to relationships, marriage, like it was I was saying, nine weeks, nine months from start to finish of being single, of doing the work, and also becoming married, engaged. Um, of course, everybody is different, but for the majority of those that are listening right now, if you've been working or if it's spirit has placed it in your heart to have mar marriage or have a partnership, um, that is something that is coming through. What do you need to do to prep not only your external environment and to make space in your external environment, but internally. What do you need to do? Um, I just heard expect nothing and receive everything. So don't expect anything during this nine weeks, nine months um, process. It'll be nine months of internal journey that is going to end in engagement and marriage for a good chunk of the population that is listening to this right now. For some of you guys, it could be actually, it could be quick. It could be nine weeks, depending on your personal journey, depending on your personal transformation. If you feel it in your spirit, then it is so. Point blank. Is there anything else? Um, I'm hearing the word companionship. This is coming through as um, specifically animal spirit guides, um, animal totems, being very mindful of anim animal energies. Why? Because they're primal. Um, learning the lessons through your, your animal counterparts. 
I like me personally I have dogs I have chickens and I have birds parakeets <laughs> I learned so much from them specific specifically my dog and my chickens I learned a lot from my goats too when I had them that's another story nine months what else spirit babies Some of you guys, it's nine months. I mean, obviously the time of gestation, but that's the other thing too. Like the significance of number nine is the time that, is how many months it takes to develop in the womb. But this is the development of children, the family. I'm also seeing um, nine months to build a home. Nine, I'm seeing like a tower, um, buildings, things that are being built. Ooh, um, Spirit says, when be careful, use discernment when you're watching the news, when you're watching the, the world around you. What other people are doing, what other people are saying, that is not truth. You're being lied to. We know that. Don't let that distract you. <clears throat> I'm hearing that there are chosen ones. These are like indigo children, crystal children, HSPs, highly sensitive people highly intuitive people that are the chosen ones um, be very observant of your diet be very observant of your lifestyle and making sure that things are balanced it's giving me very six of Pentacles vibes meaning that you're being very mindful and aware of what is coming through and what is that you're putting out if you feel depleted um, number one just don't get to the point where you're feeling depleted try your best to create a routine and a ritual that doesn't allow you to get depleted um, there are a few things that were coming through as far as global predictions um, and visions, and I would love to share them with you guys. Um, but with that, I want to get my timing of events with that accurate. It's been years. I remember exactly where I was when I started sharing or when I stopped sharing timing because of like world events. There, It's like three years ago or four years ago. That's on my YouTube channel. You'd have to dig and go go deep. The reason why is because I needed to take a step back so that my astrological predictions and premonitions would prevail so that they would show up. Not because I needed to prove it, but because I had already said what I said. I meant what I meant. I saw what I saw. And it came to fruition, and it's still coming to fruition. Um, but I also feel that spirit is starting to talk to me now and say, these chickens are so funny. They're so busy. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? Um, but yeah, I also feel like spirit is guiding me back into sharing those, um, those visions and, you know, prophecies once again, which is pretty awesome. All right, my loves, I feel a calmness and a quiet in my spirit now. So I'm going to go back to taking care of my chicken babies. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. If I receive anything else now or moving forward into the future i will definitely sit and come to you or process it and journal it and then bring it to you make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel um because i'm always this is what i do <laughs> oh and as i say that a butterfly just flew by all right we hear you <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for sitting with me and receiving this. Let me know down in the comments. Also be aware of those people who are scammers and saying, oh, Jess is, I'm Jess. Bodylifechannel at gmail.com is not my email. Brilliant, but that is not my email. I only have one email and it's info at bahadilife. Bahadilife.com is where you can find me. Um, and Bahati Life at Bahati Life. You guys set intention that I get verified on Instagram and on Twitter, not because I want to be a celebrity or anything like that, because I'm literally sitting on a cinder block in a pile of dirt underneath a shade tree with chickens on my right 
birds on my right and my dog looking at me asking me to open them. There's, I'm far from celebrity. But the reason why is this is gonna make it easier for us to understand and you know, know who is who and what is not. Um, the, old, the best thing I could do is to tell you guys that there's only one account and that is at Bahati Life or info at BahatiLife.com and BahatiLife.com is a source for all things that are actually connected to me um, and to my work and to my intention. Anything else is definitely a scam. Um, I appreciate all of you guys that are tagging me and all of the accounts that are created every other day that are seeking you and looking for you. Do you guys remember a year and a half ago, two years ago, I said the spiritual community is going to come under attack. I have my own visions with that. I want to talk to you guys about that when it comes to YouTube and social media platform platforms. They're going to change drastically in the year, year to come. It's already happening now. Um, I, the reason why I want to say it is because um, so that you know, especially if you're making your livelihood off of um, YouTube it, or YouTube or social media platforms, you're going to want to know um, what's happening here. Also, when it comes to relationships and the direction of our world and our planet and humanity, we need to talk about that as well. Some things are going to have to be posted on my podcast, um, not because I'm a conspiracy theorist, but because I'm an intuitive and spirit spoke this over over me and makes it very, very clear. And it's very clearly defined what is happening, what is occurring here and what we can expect. If you're not taking the time out with the divine to hear it for yourself, then it would be freaky. Um, but if you are, or if you're being guided by other people who are intuitively speaking or know, um, you will feel better. So make sure that you are subscribed because I am going to sit down with more intention and, you know, work these messages through me to you. All right. I'm sending you guys all my love. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Be blessed.